In this lesson, we're going to learn how to identify functions from a graph using something called the vertical line test. Let's take a look at an example. Suppose we have two graphs that show inputs and outputs. We want to evaluate f of 4. In other words, the input is 4 and we want to find the output. With the first graph, we go over to the input axis, which is x. We go over to the input of 4, find the point on the graph, and then go across to find the output. When the input is 4, the output is 3, so f of 4 equals 3. On the second graph, we're looking for the output when the input is 4. We go over to 4 on the input, or x-axis, and we look for the points. There are two of them, one up here and one down here. We go across to get the outputs. The outputs are positive 3 and negative 3. So when the input is 4, the output is positive or negative 3. The trouble with this is that we know that in a function, each input can produce only one output. This graph, therefore, is not a function, because the input 4 produces two different outputs. Let's take a look at how we can identify functions from a graph. Here are some simple steps for you to follow. First, look to see if any input produces more than one output. If every input produces only one output, then your graph is a function. If any one input, even a single one, produces more than one output, then your graph is not a function. We can use something called the vertical line test in order to easily determine this. Allow me to show you how it works in the following examples. Let's take a look at the graph that we see here in blue. We want to know whether or not this graph shows a function. We're going to use what's called the vertical line test. Notice the pink line on the left hand side. We are very slowly going to move that line along the graph. And when we do that, we're going to look to see if that line hits the blue graph at more than one spot at a time. It never does. In fact, no matter where I put that pink line, it only touches the blue graph at one spot. That means that this graph is a function. Every input produces exactly one output. This graph passes the vertical line test. Let's compare that with the next example. Here we have a graph and we want to determine whether or not this graph is a function. Once again, we'll move our pink line across the graph. Notice that in some spots that line only touches the blue graph at one spot, but in other places, it intersects two or three times. Take a look at this spot here, for example, where the graph intersects three times. This graph fails the vertical line test. Some of the inputs produce more than one output. The input 1, as we see here, produces three different outputs. This is not a function, because in order to be a function, each input may produce exactly one output. Here are some examples for you to try. Here are six graphs. Can you determine whether or not each one is a function? Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to compare answers. Let's compare answers. We're looking to see if each input produces exactly one output, or if there are any inputs that produce more than one output, meaning we don't have a function. We can use the vertical line test to help us do this. In the first graph, we see that the input negative 2 produces more than one output. This graph is not a function. In exercise 2, as we go across, we see that there are really no inputs that produce more than one output. No matter where I put my vertical line, I only hit the blue graph once at any spot. This graph is a function because each input produces exactly one output. In graph number 3, we're looking again to see if there are any inputs that produce more than one output. At the input negative 1, we have two different outputs. This is a violation of what it means to be a function, so graph number 3 is not a function. On number 4, we go across the graph. Are there any inputs that produce more than one output? No. No matter where I put my vertical line, I will only hit my graph once. That means each input produces exactly one output, so this graph is a function. How about graph number 5? Are there any inputs that produce more than one output? 
I can look across using my vertical line, and no matter where I place the vertical line, I only pass through the blue graph once. That means each input produces exactly one output, so graph number 5 is a function. How about graph number 6? Well, graph number 6, once again, I'm using my vertical line, and no matter where I go, I only hit the graph once. This is an example of a graph that is a function. And so now we know how to determine whether or not a graph shows a function. It's all about looking to see whether or not any inputs produce more than one output. If each input produces only one output, you have a function, and if any input produces more than one output, you do not have a function. And we now know that we can use the vertical line test in order to help us do this. Remember, you can learn more about functions in Mr. Dory's Algebra Handbook, available at www.dorypublications.com.